Dude, we can easily beat Karibas and Portugal. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation U4 that doesn't exist. Wait, no. Uh every nation U4 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. I get my series mixed up sometime. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the final nation in season K as the nation of Cuba. Cuba is a nation that's located in the Congo region. We haven't really played here too often. We start off as a fetishist nation, of course, with a 2 1 2 rule and we're a decent sized nation for this region man of course not as powerful as congo but we should be able to beat up these guys easily kuban ideas i actually don't know so let's go ahead and check them out right now we start off with plus 10 percent production efficiency a plus one possible advisors as a finisher we have plus one diplo relations which aren't that bad honestly diplo tech discount that's pretty good dev discount is really good prestige spinal reconstruction attrition for enemies plus one legitimacy and national unrest so not a very good set of national ideas but we can definitely work with them but what do we do as kuba well all of you said the same thing in the comments last time as cuba colonize cuba and form cuba so that's exactly what we're gonna do right here man the plan is gonna be you know to gobble all of these guys up over here move our capital to south georgia over here then colonize cuba all of these provinces in modern day cuba move our capital to havana preferably and form the nation of cuba sounds easy enough right well yes but actually no the problem is uh portugal and castile colonized the caribbean first can we get there before them no of course not pain and before we begin if you enjoyed this video don't hesitate to leave a like it really helps out a lot and if you like the content and want to see more videos like this make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them let's jump in as kuba all right all right here we are as kuba now let's take a look do we have any unique missions from uh, origins no i guess not maybe some semi-unique um fetishist or congolese missions either way it doesn't matter too much let me open that up and uh let's see we're a great man you know i've been called lots of things but uh, a great man that's a new one even more production efficiency and a leader discount minus 10 percent. i guess we'll stick with that and i guess we're a tribal nation we will have to reform into a monarchy or something like that or maybe not but uh yeah let's go ahead and uh start by doing some estate stuff and see if we can ally someone that'll help us take down everyone else no of course we don't have feudalism it's gonna be super super painful deving it and uh, a jungle of course maybe i'll eat yaka first let's see primary cult let's go with the discipline why not all right all right stay stuff done who rivaled us let's rival them back lunda yaka and kalundwe apparently which are lunda yaka and kalundwe oh the three nations that i border all right uh let me try and see if i have a diplorep guy i do he's a level two one but he could help us out with alliances so that's why i got him let's see who can we link with here congo nah they're domineering towards me so uh yeah let's uh go ahead and ally kazembe right here and maybe these uh chokwe guys as well maybe kasanje as well we'll take down our neighbors first force limit is a seven we shouldn't have horses we do i'm gonna get rid of that fight me and uh let's go ahead and get three more guys just like that uh i'll fire this guy as soon as a month takes over i don't think there's anywhere we can put this other merchant oh actually he can go there and um yeah we should be set for now man i really want to get rid of this guy so yeah let's start off by conquering stuff and um then you know well, I'll get to colonizing when we get to colonizing. So I guess I took the mission prepare for war here and it gave me claims on this, which are guys I'm already spying on. Or no, I, actually, I'm not even spying on them. All right. Uh, they have two allies. All of these guys here have lots of allies, man. That's why it's so hard to start here if you're not Congo. But I think I can take these guys down by myself. Nah, no way. I got to curry favors here. Yeah. I've allied these three guys. Let's let's start currying, man. All right, I've curried favors with all of my allies. Let's see if we can declare on Kalundwe right here. Not all of them will join. What about Yaka? Not all of them will join. What about Lunda? Not all of them will join. I want to... I'm not going to say it. But you know what? I feel like I got to declare here, man. I have a good army. I have a human brain. Let's declare on Kalundwe. Call in Kikonja to help us out. We'll declare for whatever, like uh, their capital or something. And I may also annex Yaka in this war. I am going to pounce on them first. Uh, by taking these guys down one by one, we should be able to deal with them. And paired with the fact that we got two... Did I really declare on five nations jesus oh uh, actually man this is going really well my ally is uh, super competent right here we pieced out luba white piece them see i siege these guys down they siege these guys down now we just gotta go piece out moravi and lundu i think can we walk over there yeah i guess we can all right i did manage to knock these guys out but it was super painful not the fact that i had to fight them or uh, siege them down in fact i didn't have to fight them but i walked through these three provinces going over there and i fought you know natives and all of them man uh used up a lot of manpower but 
Uh, either way, first war is done. It wasn't as difficult as I thought. And I'll full annex both of these guys right here. And um, there we go. Now we're looking pretty big, man. Let's go ahead and spy on Luba, I guess. All right. But now that we have some grasslands provinces here, and this is already in a state that can activate encourage dev right here and push for feudalism, funnily enough. So there we go. Let's uh, keep bumping it in every category just like that. And uh, now I'm also gonna expand infrastructure that made it cheaper. And uh, we will use up all of our points for this, I think. Oh, I don't like doing this at all. All right, feudalism has been devved. I need about 56 ducats to embrace it. Can't take new burger loans, but I can take regular loans, which I will do. And uh, there's feudalism, apparently. Why? Why do I always have to do this? Can't anyone else do this? And no, by the way, we, we can't get it from here unless we get near them ah either way let's continue our conquests by uh declaring on luba right here because my truce with them is up and all of my boys will join additionally three of their allies are located like over here or over here so uh we'll just pounce on lunda and on them and then we'll piece the other guys out all right let's do that Ooh, this is not very good man congo is enforcing peace on us we have like a week to respond if we don't accept they will join the war of course along with their two subjects ndongo and luongo which will bring in 8k plus 15k 3k man it's gonna be like 50k of them wow so what can we do like that white piece lunda go and fight these guys then turn on congo i think it can be done but is it gonna be too costly you know what i'm not gonna accept that man i'm uh, i'm gonna decline yeah just like that there we go congo is in but uh pretty soon i'll be able to piece these guys out yeah i think we can do this or maybe i should keep my occupation on these guys for war score i'll see all right i'm gonna peace out lunda for these two provinces this one isn't occupied by me there we go not going bad at all i got a bunch of dubs versus congo uh now i'm gonna siege their capital and i'm planning to white piece them also to two government form time martial society all right uh we've sieged down congo let's go ahead and white piece them we'll deal with them later let's go siege the lake victoria guys all right well these guys are done i died to uh you know <laughs> natives once again how fun is it walking through these uncolonized provinces not fun at all but the war with uh, luba is done luckily this got unoccupied and reoccupied by me so i can take that as well and um there's another nation down all right uh do i keep these guys to help me beat up congo is Congo allied to any of them? No. So I will keep these guys around, beat Congo, then break my alliance with them. Yeah, things aren't looking too bad. I'm just still really afraid of uh, how slow we're going to be and how fast Portugal is going to be. But uh, yeah, there we go. Let's score that up. Can't even tech up yet. Jesus. You know what? We'll take it. We will definitely take it. My truth with Congo is up, and I think I can go ahead and take new burger loans now, which are actually really big. Wow, uh, we can't build any buildings. We're tech three still. But yeah, let me build up my army a bit just like that. And I think we can go ahead and hit Congo. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that, man. Oh, uh, we should... Uh, now, these guys won't join. They would have earlier. Just Kasanje. I mean, we can take them down, man. Yeah, this is going to be easy. War's going great. Now I can call in Kazembe too. Why not? Perfect, man. Easy. I am going to separate piece Lunda right here and full annex them. And now I'm going to piece out Congo. Let's see how much can we take from them. Ah, uh, we can't full annex them, huh? Well, let's at least uh, go ahead and take their entire coastline. Yeah, let's do something like this. Uh, there we go. Sweet. All right, nice. Now we got a coastline. We can explore, expand, and stuff like that. Now we're uh, the most powerful nation right here. So I'll break my alliance with uh, Kasenje and Kikonja. Or no, wait. Uh, I'll keep these guys around because these guys have uh, copper provinces. Yeah. Maybe we start off with 10 professionalism. <laughs> I didn't notice that. But yeah, let's get some manpower back up. I think we got to push for the renaissance here, man. I am tech four at every category. I think we should do it in Soyo. It already has feudalism. So uh, uh, I don't like this one bit, man. There we go. Let's do that. Now we can expand infrastructure. Just made it cheaper. Ali still going to have to do the classic like 36 to 38. Uh, I don't like this. You know, at least we're making good money now and we're great. Great on manpower, just building up my army right here. Yeah, the biggest problem is going to be tech, man. After we get the Renaissance, tech five, exploration. By that point, we may even have a colonial nation in Cuba, dude. Oh, there's the Renaissance. How much money do I need to embrace that? I am kind of rich. 406, you got to be kidding me. I mean, I got time. We're still not close to tech five in any category, so I'll just wait around and stack cash. We can take our first age ability. Not very close to colonizing at all, but I'll take it. Nothing else is really useful. And I'm a dumbass because I hadn't even activated Encourage Dev here. 
Nope, I hadn't. Uh, tier three cover form. Let's take this. Yeah, I'm pretty close to taking up, so I gotta go ahead and take out some loans right here to embrace the Renaissance, and we can almost get admin five. All right, great. I'm not taking this. I'm gonna push exploration. All right, there's admin tech five, and we can go ahead and take exploration out. Okay. Okay, nice. And I can immediately hire an explorer and tell these boys to start exploring. All right, well, I explored everything I can. Uh, let's take a look at that colonial range thingy. I think it was an economic. Yeah, so we can't actually colonize St. Helena. It's too far. Everything is everything is just too far. Well, might as well put this colonist to use, man. Let's let's colonize stuff next to us like Bingwell. It's too far away. Let's do Luanda then. All right, but now that we've done everything that we need to with admin points, basically getting admin deck five, I can go ahead and declare on Congo. My choice with them is up. Let's call on these boys, make this easy, and I'll gobble everyone up. All right, Congo is done. Easy enough. All right, I got the plus 50% uh, colonial range thing from the idea, so I'm actually going to recall this guy from uh, Cuba or Luanda. I'm going to abandon that colony, and I'm going to send him to St. Helena. And right now, it is also time to continue with our wars, right? We got to get these guys out of here, so I'm going to declare on Kazembe right here, Kobaligerent, Chokwe. No, I'm actually not going to do that. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's fall annex these two guys. I don't really care about the Lake Victoria guys. Not that interested in that region. We don't even need to do stuff right here. I'm just doing this to get... A little more powerful. All right, long war, but no biggie. We can go ahead and piece both of these guys out. Excellent. And then when I declare on Kikonja, I'll uh, fight Kasanje too and uh, be done with the Congo region guys, basically. And yeah, right now I'm just chilling, man, working my way to Diplotech 7. I've already gotten the first three important ideas from exploration. After that, we should get some more colonial range. And after we colonize St. Helena, I'm assuming that Portugal and Castile, they should already be in Brazil and in the Caribbean, man. Uh, you know, when we move our capital to the New World, though, we can fight their colonial nation without fighting them unless of course they enforce you gotta be quick we'll see we'll see not feeling too confident but at least the mostly painful part is over uh, at least the painful part at the start not at the end uh. all right there's diplodex 7 more colonial range let's explore some more hey and the colony in st helena is done after this i might be able to move my capital if south georgia is here where these uh things pop up through the map and there is south georgia we can actually go ahead and reach it man awesome so as soon as we're done colonizing this we're gonna move our capital there moving our capital here is gonna allow us to move our capital later to cuba and uh that's how we're gonna get the decision to form cuba if our capital is over there so uh nice after i do this man i'm just gonna province hop and uh try and get to the caribbean as fast as possible but uh things aren't looking too bad right now sure we're super super slow compared to like portugal and uh, castile but um yeah in the meantime we can just deal with kasanje and uh, kikunja which i'm gonna do in about a year or two all right i'm gonna go ahead and um not do anything because my claims on these guys expired all right now we got a claim on kikunja we can go ahead and declare good relations please just let me do what i want <laughs> just let me... uh Either way, tier four government reform time as well. Let's do that. Yeah, of course, Portugal's already here, but at least I can see uncolonized provinces in Cuba. But, you know, for this achievement, we do have to own all of it. So I think we'll end up fighting them either way. Not achievement, goal for the campaign. Okay, I have discovered all of Cuba, man. These are the like um, six or seven provinces we need right here. Uh, Cu uh, uh, Portugal isn't in any of them yet, but by the time South Georgia finishes, by the time we move our capital, we only got one colonist. Ugh. All right, just as I pieced these guys out, they apparently conquered everything and formed Kitara. This is a formidable nation in this region. I might honestly fight these guys. Uh, but yeah, war with Kasanje and Kikunja is done. I pretty much got all the provinces I wanted. Like I said, I might fight these guys. It's totally not necessary, but I'll see what I can do. And we can go ahead and explore some more. I did discover these provinces. Let's just keep learning about stuff up here, man. What do we go with here? North Atlantic, sure. I always like these events. That's gonna help us a bit, huh? We also got a colonization thingy with the merchant guilds. Yeah, there it is, New World Charters. I, I'm doing this one right here because I can't be bothered to take my armies to my colonies. Yeah. I'm gonna start my golden era now too. There's admin seven. I am gonna go expansion here just in the interest of getting this uh, all done quicker before Portugal gets uh, provinces here. So uh, yeah, almost done with South Georgia. We'll move our capital there and then we'll have to province hop a little bit, probably just to over here before we can get to cuba and that's exploration wrapped up i think i want to go with galley combat here and there we go south georgia is done to move our capital here we need to state it of course uh which i am gonna do immediately and then we need 276 points all right so let's go ahead and wait for that we got time until we start colonizing something else too but let's take a look at our colonial range and this is the furthest one actually this one right here so let's colonize that actually man we're not really that bad on tech we're seven seven eight Portugal is 7782. 
Okay, we caught up pretty quickly. Luckily, we did get rid of that uh, initial starting ruler uh, pretty fast, too. So, uh, at least we'll be on par on tech, right? Let's explore that. There's the other colonists. Since we can't reach anything uh, further than what we're colonizing right now, I think I'm just going to colonize stuff next to me. Portugal is allied to England and Castile, which is pretty common. But luckily, I think we can just fight Caraibas. If we're uh, fast enough, we can take care of them. Uh, but the rivals are Aragon and Austria, which I can't see yet. Castile obviously doesn't have Aragon yet, uh, but the Iberian wedding could still happen. I don't know. Hmm. Also, we got a really strong Portugal, as always, when you have to fight them. Look at this. All right, Colonial Luanda is down, but Colonial Range shouldn't be bigger right now. Yeah, we're as far as we can go. I'm actually going to not do anything with this guy, just so as soon as uh, this colony is done, we can send both of them to Cuba. None of which is colonized yet, by the way. So uh, we got that going for us. Uh, but yeah, now I need to save up some points to move my capital to South Georgia. It's about time. Okay, Colony in Brazil is almost done, and we can move our capital to South Georgia now. Boom, there we go. That's excellent. So now it's in the New World, but not in a colonial region, which means because we have our capital right here, once we colonize a province in Cuba, preferably Havana first, of course, we will be able to move our capital there, whereas uh, you can't move it to here from here directly. You gotta go down here if you want to move it to North America, or you gotta move it to Bermuda first, which Norway has colonized, if you want to move it to South America first. But yeah, colony almost done. And there it is. Actually, it is done right now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the colonial range. And we can reach Cuba. Yes. All right. There we go. Uh, let's colonize Havana first. Boom. There's a colonist right there. And uh, let's just go for a province right next to it. Like that one right there with the second colonist. I only got two for now. I will be getting another one soon from expansion. Sweet. Portugal isn't there yet. Looking good. We might not even have to fight a war for this, boys. How pleasurable would that be? You know, we always talk about pain on the channel. But, uh... You know, this campaign, we might get some pleasure. And speaking of pleasure, let me show you something. Boom, there it is, man. The silver freaking play button. Of course, it's mirrored for you guys because my camera is mirrored because I'm in the bottom right. But uh, there it is, man. There's the 100k plaque. I got it. <laughs> Thanks for 100k subs once again. Only took about two months for it to arrive. But uh, thank you, Susan. Wait, she's not the CEO anymore. Uh, you know what the interesting thing is, I think? I think uh, once we form Cuba, Cuba, not Cuba... I think Cuba is also like this pink color that we are right now. That would be pretty uh, cool. But yeah, we got a new ruler. Let's go ahead and take that and uh, let's explore some more. Now, I'm not going to move our capital here just yet because after we form Cuba, we might like lose all of this stuff right here, right? Cuba is probably still going to exist as we exist as Cuba. So first, what I'm going to do is colonize all of this or even if I have to fight Caribas for all of it to get basically... Uh, well, these uh, two areas right here, West and East Cuba. And only after we own all of this, then I'll move my capital and then I'll form Cuba. Just so we can, um, you know, stay stronger. Biologica. Level 2 center of trade, uh, encourage dev, expanded infrastructure. I think I am gonna, you know, force bond colonialism, even though I could get an event right here to just uh, basically embrace it in my country. But yeah, there we go. What else was I gonna do with the points, realistically? Right now, we're not doing too bad at all, man. The first two colonies are finished. I'm doing these two provinces. After we're done with these two, basically, we have one two three four five six seven provinces left i'm done with two already but let's see if we can move our troops over there oh and we can actually become a monarchy i will do that i will become a monarchy we'll make more money like this i am not going to stay a tribe there we go reform into monarchy perfect and we can go ahead and become an autocracy and once we have enough uh points we can uh, strengthen noble privileges i thought we would have enough right now <laughs> but either way uh, all that just aside let's see if we can actually uh Move a couple of troops over to Cuba without them dying. It might be too far away, but let's try and take him to Havana. Okay, finally, third colonist too. Sweet, that's going to help it speed it up. And I did lose about half of the troops transporting them here. Let's wait for these boats to recover, and then we'll uh, move some more. <laughs> uh, moron! No! Ah, uh, I am literally seven years old. Oh, someone from Inca. Nice. You know, right now, man, Portugal seems to be focusing on colonizing Rio de Prata or something. At least I can see one colonist that they have right here. I don't know where the other ones are, man. Maybe North America? Mm, I can't really see. Maybe Africa, something like that. But uh, Caribas right here, they seem to have stabilized. Is something being colonized by them directly? Let's go ahead and see. Yeah, they are colonizing this. But uh, that seems to be about it, man. We may have a uh, smooth sailing until the end right here, man. Honestly, I won't be disappointed by that at all. And uh, there's expansion wrapped up as well. Now we can go ahead and take this and we can go ahead and swap to that. Awesome. Astro colonization. Hey, there we go. Another province is done. No. There they are. Ah, uh, I jinxed myself. Nah. What we're going to do right here is wait for them to finish colonizing it. 
it goes over to Caribas. I can then be a new world nation and declare on them. And hopefully, if we're fast enough, Portugal won't be able to enforce peace. Uh, it has worked out so far. I think we can go ahead and do it again. I really did jinx myself, didn't I? Oh, well, you know, these things happen. But yeah, I was saying uh, this is done. We can colonize it that now. Uh, Portugal has ran away in tech because I haven't been doing anything with admin. Uh, but we're good with Caraibas, man. There we go. Escambria is done. Let's do Bayamo. All right, the province of Moron has finished colonizing i think if i let a month tick by a colonial nation will form <laughs> okay this is a state uh we need to move our capital now i don't think a colonial nation will form anymore uh, let's see it didn't it didn't okay we're good oh I was about to have a massive flaw in my plan to colonize everything and then move our capital because I just remembered if you have five, a colonial nation will form. Just in time. <laughs> Luckily, I had the points. <laughs> Luckily, I didn't click this, but I think I was still would have points. But uh, yeah, let's finish colonizing Guantanamo along with uh, Camagüey and Bayamo. And after that, we'll wait for these guys to finish colonizing that and then we'll get it done. But yeah, prior to that, I had just taken out new burger loans to uh, build some buildings in here. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and put down. What was I building? Oh yeah, this first. Yeah. I'm improving this, baby. But we should have the decision now. Form Cuban Nation, Admin Tech 10. All right. Well, we're not too far off, are we? Yeah. Are we still focusing on Admin? We are. And there we go. This has gone over to Caraibas. We can immediately declare on them and beat them up. Their capital is right here. I do have army superiority, naval superiority. Yeah, we should be able to crush these guys uh, easily. After that, of course, we'll still have to wait for Admin Tech 10. So we're in no real rush right here, to tell you the truth. Or making enough money to bump this guy up. Eh, yeah, I guess so. All right, just waiting for the final colony, Bayamo, right there. And uh, we're Admin Tech 8 right now. And just as Bayamo finishes and we're getting ready to declare war on Caribas, we can go ahead and drink the noble privileges. All right, now that all of that is done, we can take a look at tech. We're 8, 11, 10. Caribas is 10, 9, 10. So we're good on mil tech. We're ahead of them in diplo tech, which means we got better navies. Now, if Portugal decides to get involved here, I think it'll be just them. Ooh, and they're not allied to Castile in England anymore. Uh, they're allied to the Pope. Why did Castile get that CB on them? I'm guessing so. No, but they have a truce. Interesting. Doesn't matter too much. If they get involved, they are better tech than we actually were the same. 11, 10. Yeah, okay. So if it's just Portugal, I think we can beat them uh, aside from their navy. But I guess we're going to have to see what's going on. Either 10 boats? What the hell happened here? Dude, we can easily beat Caribas and Portugal. Let's go ahead and spy on them. Oh, wait. I have spied on them, but not enough. Okay, now we can go ahead and get a claim on Baracoa. There we go. There's the Conquest CB. And even if Portugal gets involved, we don't care because... uh. Well, Cuba is about to be ours. All right, there we go. We got the province we need. Portugal hasn't hopped in, so let's go ahead and start uh, sieging everything down. Look at us, man, with spears and shields and stuff, when, re when in reality, we even have better mil tech than them. <laughs> Portugal isn't in yet. And there we go, man. Easy as pie, yo. We've 99% of them. Portugal didn't even get involved. I could crush them as well, by the way. And uh, because I'm so nice and generous and humble, the most humble, don't forget that, I am just going to take the province that we need. Baracoa. That's it. I'm not going to fall annex them, even though I can. It will be super, super simple to take all of their provinces right here and uh, make them not exist and accumulate 130 AE with the Europeans. But no, nah, that's all I want. I'm also going to take warps, transfer trade, all their money. Adios. But there we go. We have everything we need except for Admin Tech 10. And while we're waiting for Admin Tech 10, let's become a real precursor to Cuba by converting to Christianity as well. The Holy Father will be impressed. Catholic becomes the new state religion. I kind of did want to do this. Uh, I didn't think there was a decision, so I didn't mention it. But there is a decision. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. No, wait, that was stupid. <laughs> no, I need to stab up too. <laughs> Whatever. By the way, not even stabbing up. Just bolting towards that Admin Tech 10. We are about to get internal conflicts. I don't care, man. We're about to form Cuba. I'm really interested in seeing that if uh, we have the same color <laughs> after we form it. But there we go. Almost 100 years after we've started our game, we do have enough points, 402 by the way, to get Admin Tech 10. And boom, there it is. And now we do have the decision to form the Cuban nation. First, I'll do this as well. And there we go. Huh, the color was pretty similar, but there we are. We are Cuba, Christian nation, personal union on monarch death. And uh, what else do you want to see, man? Cuban national ideas. Wait, Cuban? Yeah, I guess we still have the same ideas. Same missions too. But we are Cuba. There we go. Success. And this did uh, leave 
Kuba, which we were existing over here, but these things always happen, so no big deal. But yeah, there you go, man. We started off as the nation of Kuba, which of course still exists in these like three provinces up here. The start was initially kind of tricky because everyone over here in the Congo region allies everyone else. But with the help of some allies that we acquired ourselves, we were able to wipe out some of the weaker nations and of course then Congo as well after they enforced peace on us, but we did manage to crush them as well. I said I might fight Kitara right here that formed, but I didn't. There was really no need. And after that, after we gobbled all of these guys up, got the coastline, got exploration and expansion, I can also get quality right here as well. Uh, actually, let me go ahead and take that. Boom. We started colonizing, colonized St. Helena first. After that, we went to South Georgia, moved our capital to South Georgia, hopped to this province right here. And after that, we did start colonizing the island of Cuba. And like I said, we didn't need West and East Cuba. We do have all the provinces that we need and nothing is getting colonized anymore. I am converting some of the provinces to Catholic. And even though I said it might be easy sailing, smooth sailing, by just colonizing all of these provinces and not having to do a war, everything changed when Portugal decided to colonize Baracó right here. Luckily, it went to Kairabas. Luckily, that war was super easy. Small army, small navy, and even if we had to fight Portugal, man, they weren't allied to Castile and England anymore for some reason, and their boats were super low. They must have gotten into some sort of war right here, maybe a succession war or something like that. I guess we'll never know, but uh, even if we did have to fight Portugal themselves, it would have been just as easy as it was fighting Kairabas. After that, we took the province that we needed, waited a little bit for Admin Tech 10. I was slow because I was not taking up, just working on expansion, and after we got Admin Tech 10, we did manage to accomplish our goal of forming the nation of Cuba as Cuba. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Cuba, the final nation in Season K, has been a success. And that has been Cuba in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week, the first nation in Season L. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you like the content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of them. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.